To now a family is searching for answers after their beloved pet was attacked with a pellet gun. They say their dog died from the injuries and now the community is on a mission to find the pet killer. KPRC 2's Danielle Grossman is live now in Kingwood with more on the family story. Danielle. Guys, Mitchell the dog was loved by the entire family. He even just had a recent litter with Stevie right here. And these are the pups that they just had a few weeks ago. His life was cut short in this very backyard where he was waiting for his owners. Now the family just wants some answers. I just can't imagine somebody doing something like that. It's unbelievable. In this day and time, in this neighborhood, in Kings Manor, in Kingwood, Texas. Heartbreak, tears and questions. A community's in shock wondering how this could happen here. It just breaks your heart to think that we live in a world today where this stuff can happen to an innocent dog. I mean, come on. This is Mitchell. He was loved by everyone in his family, but the bond between these two was unmatched. Aww. That was his buddy. You know, they grew up. Uh, he raised that dog from a puppy. A little less than a week ago, Mitchell was found around 1130 in the morning, unresponsive in the backyard. The dog had been shot through the eye and um, and pierced his brain, so he was very disoriented. His family says he was shot 10 times with a high-powered pellet rifle or pistol. And what would cause somebody to just walk up in, in the middle of the day and do this? Thousands of dollars in vet bills later, Mitchell was euthanized after being declared paralyzed. A little boy lost his best friend. A community up in arms. I'm scared for myself. And a family in mourning. Somebody had to see something. Just praying for some justice. Yeah, I just don't want it to happen to anybody else. Now, since the incident happened, the family's taken multiple steps to ensure the safety of the other dogs here on the property. They have cameras now in the front door, cameras in the backyard where the dog was shot and even in the back. They also installed this fence right here as another safety precaution. The community's rallied behind them, raised about $1,000 to find the person responsible. If convicted, the suspect could face up to two years behind bars and a $10,000 fine, and it's currently being investigated. Live for you in Kingwood, Danielle Grossman, KPRC 2 News.